Welcome back to another video. We're here in Denver, Colorado, where I've been invited to be a guest trainer at the XR Soccer Training Winter Elite Camp. XR Soccer Training was founded by Javi Rico, an ex-professional player and a visionary. He is someone I think we share a lot of the same philosophies, um, a lot of the same ideas about the U.S. soccer landscape. We definitely feel that it's not something that's providing for the players to progress through the system. But instead of just critiquing it, he's gone about and created his own academy and his own camps and clinics um, with XR Soccer Training and XR Soccer Training Elite Camps. Within those camps, he gives a lot of players exposures as he brings them to the Mundialito in Spain, giving them exposure in front of coaches and scouts from Barcelona, Fenerbahce, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid. Well, he's someone I respect a lot who's gone about creating something huge to give players a different platform to, to get out and to be seen and to, to get better. So I'm very excited to get going with the camp. It's a huge opportunity and honor for me um, to be invited here to coach and to really share my ideas and my philosophies. Um, it's an amazing opportunity to continue growing my name and my brand uh, with Silva Academy here on the West Coast now and to also learn from Javi and all the guest coaches he's invited. There's a, there's a few guest coaches. There's a guest coach who's been flown over from Barcelona. Um, myself, I think we're the two who've been brought in for the camp. So just to get to know them and to see what they're all about as well. I'm here with uh, my roommate and the Spanish coach, Carles Ruiz. Hi, no. Rius. Rius. I'm here with my roommate uh, for the week and Spanish coach all the way from Spain, Carles Rius. Hi. Estoy con mi compañero de habitación, Carles Rius. Buenos días. Que viene desde España, de Unión Esportiva Bordeta. Así es. Saludos. Saludos. <laughs> Hasta la imagen de la iglesia. La iglesia aquí y los edificios tan altos allá al lado. Bueno, tengo ya dos sesiones hechas para más, más pequeños y unas para más mayores. Como me tocan más pequeños hoy, pues. Cosas traído a España y estas compiten bien, ¿eh? Fuerte, al choque contra hombre contra hombre, les ganaban las niñas. Todas. La que tiene Last round. We're back to how we did the first round. Two touches. All right. The only difference now, at any point, the feeders, before they play the ball, can say man on. If they say man on, so say man on. Before you play the ball. Before you play the ball, they say man on. You have to one time it back to where it came from, and then go again. So two touch, unless they say man on, one touch back to where it came from if they do. All right, a little bit of thinking, a bit of awareness, and last point, my feeders, back to two touch. And I said this to this group over here. Excuse me, can you do me a favor and pass the ball to him? So, if I'm playing the ball over here, I need to lead him to where his next pass is gonna go. I need to help him out. Does it help me if his pass is going there to play him there? Why? Because he's having to play across his body. He has a lot of work to do to do that cleanly. Lead him a little bit so he can get that pass across. Does that make sense? So a little bit more detail on how we're playing the ball as feeders. Let's go back to your grids.
one touch fasting. Now, that requires you to think ahead. So the same habits from round one, add a little bit of forward planning now. What do I mean by that? If I'm checking here, know where you're gonna go. Know where you're gonna go, that's exactly it. Now, can I make this pass with my hips facing this way? No. How should my hips be facing? Turn your hips Open up, right? It's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. As a feeder, you now have a different responsibility. So I have a question for you guys. How does the pass change now that it's one touch versus two? Raise your hand. A little bit slower, not faster. Why? Because you need more control, all right? If you're playing to your teammate and you're requiring a one touch pass, you can't beam it into them. So a little bit of thinking as well of the quality of our pass and what we want from it. Deal? Deal. Back to your grids, here we go. So I'm very happy with how the camp has been going so far. We have about four or five elite groups that we rotate throughout the entire camp. A lot of our sessions stay the same because we, we just kind of tweak it to the skill level and age level of the next group. I've gone with the concepts of passing and receiving, mainly receiving the ball on the back foot, why it's important to always aim to do that, having your body shape open, and knowing where your next pass is going to go and then just really combining all three of these concepts in every drill, they get progressively harder and more challenging for them. The kids have been super receptive. You can definitely tell they haven't been exposed to these things just yet, but they're eager to learn and they're eager to find ways to find more success on the field. So it's been really fun to see them kind of take these concepts and apply it. My sessions have really kind of compartmentalized each of these concepts, and then we put it together at the end and have them really apply it and give them a chance to use it. I think these are very, very important habits. I talk about them and use them a lot all over my page and my drills and my sessions. The reason being is I don't think a lot of players are exposed to these things until later in their development. And then it becomes a lot more difficult to make these things habits because they already have some other habits that they're gonna have to break. We're playing a four against one. In this four against one, everyone's working hard, not just the one in the middle. Keeping possession, I need eyes. Keeping possession is hard work, just like defending is. The only difference is you're rewarded with the ball. All right? You guys are starting to see that now by giving good passing options. All right? Here, we are combining everything we've done in the session so far, guys. Everything. Do you remember the first drill? What was the main point of the first drill? Find the open what? Player. Find the open player. Second drill. Running into position with your hips what? Open. Why? So you can see the field. So, knowing where the open guy is, checking with my hips open. Let me see it. Receiving and finding the open guy. This group, did we get two? Five star jumps, loud. This group, did we get two? So close, doesn't cut it. 
Ten push-ups. All the way here, all the way there. So I made it back to Tampa from Colorado a few days ago now. I had an amazing time at the camp. I met some amazing people and made some great connections. It was an honor for me to be completely honest. It was really, really fun for me to, to kind of spread my interpretation of the game and try and impact these young players and their development. Um, I think the only way to judge would be to follow up and see if you know some of these habits stick. Um, in a camp, it is a little difficult to make a huge impact in two, three days, but that's the goal, right? That's the challenge for us as coaches now. Is, and they flew to us for this, and they're flying out tonight, and Carlos, I think it's tomorrow morning. But thankfully, it's Christian Silva. Please give her a round of applause. I think it's very important to mention that all this came about, this invitation through social media. Uh, Javi was a fan of my Instagram page. He had followed it for quite some time. And he liked what he saw, he liked what I was saying, he liked what I was doing, the content I was posting. 
and he did a bit of research, just kind of tried to find out more about me, about my philosophy, and it was a good fit. And kind of look what's come from that. So I think just a little bit of inspiration to any and everybody who's on the fence of starting anything of their own, kind of branding themselves, you know, just put yourself out there. I think there's always gonna be somebody who needs to hear what you have to say or needs to see what you have to post. Um, somebody's gonna resonate with it. And as long as you're genuine and really kind of spread, you know, your ideas, your philosophy, good things will come from it. So again, just the importance of putting yourself out there. That's it for the video. I had a fantastic time at the camp. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys on another video.